So it comes in two parts. You've got the traditional carving ring that's going to be created for that, and that's made up of eight carvers producing a dragon each. And then you move on to the synthetic dragons, and that's 3D printing. And we believe that to be one of the largest print jobs in the world to date. No matter how complicated the shape of the dragon is, we can always print it. It's a really good way of printing complex shapes. Challenges are the physical size of the dragon. It's difficult to move around on your own. Getting it to certain nooks and crannies of the dragon, the certain areas which have proved very, very difficult, very challenging. We have our selection of mainly five components of a dragon. So we have a head, a body, a tail, and two wings. Next stages, we have to reassemble them. So we've, we've, we've designed all the joints to be nice and strong and then easy to assemble. So we literally use a very, very strong glue and we glue the dragon back together into one piece. First process was to take full-size templates of each level within the dragon. So you've got the main center, four inch block, and then two, two and a half inch blocks on either side, and then the addition of the wings and the legs. Then those sections are all glued together to form the, the bulk of the dragon. Colour matching, we go to a real specialist and what we do is we make absolutely the dragons to the original traditional recipes from the 1760s and then we have to convert that into a modern paint system. We prime the parts, they turn grey at this stage as the grey primer goes on, uh, then we check the parts again, then we spray them green so it's nice dark, verdigris green goes on, covering the whole dragon and then we get a bit more detailed and we start doing gold leaf and silver detailed colours of cochineal and, and blues and reds and silvers to create a really almost romantic colour scheme. Once all that's done, to give it a final coat of protection, the whole thing is given a very tough clear coat of paint over the top which will seal everything in and protect it and then it should last at least for 10 years or so. One of the great challenges we have is fixing the actual dragons to the building. Previously they were held in by iron pins, now that doesn't really fit with our health and safety standards. So we now have to integrate a much more robust system into the building. So this is a, a neoprene gasket that just um, stops the, the polyamide of the dragon, the nylon of the dragon, uh, rubbing directly against the bracket. Dragon going on. So the day has finally arrived, taking you back five years, remembering the Cube Pagoda was naked. It was like a queen without its jewels, a king without its crown. Today it stands before you bejeweled and crowned. The dragons have returned after 250 years. Mm -hmm.